Hello and welcome to Adventures in VFK. This is Fairy Fanatic and I want to continue our crafting episodes. The next thing that we're going to look at is all of the crafting stands that are in VFK. And it's not that there's a lot, but they're scattered around some and it's a good thing to know where they're located. Now this is the first one that we're going to look at. This is in the greenhouse and it's called Pumpkin Carving Table. Now at Halloween you can you can grow your own pumpkins and when you do that you can actually carve those pumpkins. Okay this is like it's talks it tells you about it. It says Pumpkin Carving Center. It says check the book of pumpkin carving on the nearby desk for guidance on the quantity of supplies to use. Okay then it tells you you've got see I've got these elemental bottles here items to carve. I don't have any pumpkins that, you know, carving pumpkins. This is the guide. Carving, um, let's see here. Okay. Mr. Hootie, I'll be helping you through the different pumpkin steps. Okay. Introduction. Welcome to the pumpkin carving guide. Within these pages, you will learn how to grow a pumpkin, harvest a pumpkin, and carve a pumpkin. The products mentioned in this catalog are available at the greenhouse in Retro Age, where we are. Let's get started. Okay, dyeing and combinations. It's got your combinations, your homegrown pumpkin, growing a pumpkin. First, before you embark on growing a pumpkin, you need to be an experienced gardener. So we have, next you will need to harvest the pumpkin from the pumpkin, pumpkin stencils. In order to carve a beautiful Thanksgiving pumpkin with your own personalized color and face, you need to purchase a pumpkin stencil from the greenhouse. So this is mainly what this, this, this place is, it's a stencil. It's a stencil uh, carving station. Now they do sometimes move, uh, th these have stencils for Thanksgiving and Halloween and sometimes they move the stencil table, this carving table, over to the pumpkin patch at Halloween. They don't always do that um, but I know, I, I know that in the past they have done that. So if it's not here at Halloween time when you go to look for it, check at the pumpkin patch. Alright, so we're not going to cover everything in that. We're going to go over next to the blacksmith in Medieval Age. And we're headed over there now. Now this station here, this is the wood crafting station. And as you can see, it's, it's very, it's, it's pretty much looks like what it is. And it has some wood on it. Woodworking center. Check the book of woodworking on the nearby table for guidance on the quantity of supplies to use. All right, and you go and you check on the table. This is things that I've collected up that I have that can be used here at the woodworking center. And we're not doing that right now, but here's the book. Now this one's here all the time. This one doesn't move. And if you ever need to come over and make something, this has the kind of patterns in it as a woodworking. And this has the kind of patterns that you would use to make um, just anything that has the wood. Um, these pages will include all you need to know about harvesting wood, crafting, understanding blueprints, and much more. So you need to, get, we've already done the wood cutting, so we have an episode on that. But these are some things that you can make. Camping chairs, um, Victorian roof, wood blocks, Victorian house, medieval guest room. They tell you a lot of these, these different things you can say for that. Um, this is the Tiki Guest Room. You can make this completely. You can see what you need. 120 woods, 144 reeds, and a blueprint. That's a lot of stuff. So you can see why I'm saying every time you get the chance, go ahead and collect some things. And so these are long-range goals that you can work toward. Um, these are some smaller things that you can make just, to, just for fun. So there's a lot of things in here. Really neat stuff. And just so remember, anytime you get a chance to go and, and collect up stuff, you know, collect up the ingredients to make these things, just take the opportunity and do it. Because you will really, will really need to use the, your, your items once you get going. Okay, so the next, the next place that we're going to go to is the craft shop. And that's also in Medieval Age and it's a specialized store just for crafting. I'm not going to really cover everything you can do there because there's a lot of stuff and that's kind of another, that's for another episode. But what you can do with this that has the table for Reedy's 
and also for sewing. Once we get into the shop, this is fairly new. Actually, the crafting isn't all that old. It's still reasonably, it's still fairly new. All right, these are your tables over here. You can see the Reedy's tables over here. You can make baskets, Reed Weaving Center. Check the book on of Reed Weaving on the nearby desk for guidance on the quantity of supplies to use. So those are over here on this side here. This is the reading book. And like the other books, it's going to go ahead and just give you, it's going to give you a complete overview of all the things that you can do. We have um, we have gone ahead and covered a lot of the collecting and how to harvest and collect and that sort of thing in other episodes, but it does go over the, go over these same things in the books. So, oh, pine cones. I don't think we did pine cones. I know we didn't do pine cones. I guess I'll have to go back and do pine cones at some point. All right, this is the tailoring center or the sewing center. Check the book on ta tailoring on the nearby desk for guidance on the quantity of supplies to use. Okay, we don't have... A lot of things here so let's click on this book here this is the tailoring book and remember we've al already learned all of our training books that we need to be able to do these individual things we did that at the very beginning that's quite critical and you'll be glad you got that started it'll make everything go smoother for you when you're trying to craft all you have to do then is just worry about how much of each thing that you have and what you want to make and deciding on the colors now that's the hard part the deciding on the colors yeah what you, one of the things that you need to remember is that crafting is something that enables you to go ahead and choose your own colors choose your own pattern and just make something that's just all of yours it's just something that reflects what you like and what you want and the colors that you want and there's so many different colors you can use so many different color combinations you can see these things that you can make here and you you decide what what you make and there's just all kinds of things that you can do so as you can tell once you start collecting things uh, it's just um, sky's the limit I mean you can make all kinds of things and make it you'll run out of you'll you'll run out of uh, your supplies a lot <laughs> trying to get some of these things now the, the leather the leather stuff you need that Barinthian leather that you can only get from space and you need to that's that's one thing that we're still working on with our space mission and hopefully we'll get some of those we'll get some of the Barinthian leather so that we can make some of these and it's telling you about them there on that page and the, here's the color combinations um, the harvesting of this it covers all of the all of the crafting things so it's really a good idea to go back through and read these books so that you have a good idea about what is involved in everything so that is those are all the crafting stations that are located in VFK and as you can see it's the Reedy in here and the tailoring stations these other things we'll cover those in another episode because there we're going to need to take some of our supplies and turn them into both thread and material and we do that over here in this in the same in the same shop and this is the medieval crafting shop okay well thank you so much for joining me I hope this has been helpful to you and we will see you next time bye